So today I'm doing another kitten update video. I didn't think that I was going to do one of these for like another couple of months or so, but for the past couple weeks, the kitten has been acting kind of differently. So I figured I would just give you like a quick little update and just let you know how he's doing. And he's definitely starting to be in like his like teenager phase, I guess, or just like not like a tiny little baby anymore because now like he kind of wanders off all over the place in my room, like right now. <laughs> But before he used to just like let me hold him like all the time and just like wanted to be snuggled and now he's like, no, let me explore. But he'll still let me grab him and stuff. Like he doesn't really care if I hold him. It's just not his favorite thing. He looks like a toy. So <laughs> there he goes. That's what I was waiting for. Okay. So one of the things that I've noticed is like he has a lot more patience now. Like before he had more patience than when he was like a couple of weeks old but now it's like he's really gotten more patient and more chill which is like thank goodness he's not biting as much which is like ah oh, thank goodness I'm so glad <laughs> because it hurts they have like little knives as claws it's crazy so he hasn't been like biting me as much so I don't know what the difference is between this month and last month and I don't know like what's happening but it's it, I'm so grateful for it if you guys look back at like my videos like a month ago or two months ago you can probably see like a couple scratches or bite marks just because that was his behavior his instinct like he wasn't doing it maliciously it's just like he just figured that was okay but I think either now he's understanding that I don't like it when he does that or he's just like chilling out more either way I'm totally fine with that another thing that I've noticed which is like kind of adorable is that I think he's kind of adopted like a baby blanket, which is like so cute. So basically what happened was my mom was hanging out with the cat and then she like gave him a little towel to play with just like so he could chase it or whatever. And he was in the other room with her and then she like left that for him to play with. But he brought it into my room, like spread it out like a little blanket and now he just sits on it all the time and it's so strange because like in the mornings he has my bed like he's over here you know but he decides to go on the little towel which is just like like one inch larger than him really like on each side it's like a one inch margin but he feels like really comfortable or something i will insert pictures that way you guys actually know what i'm talking about but it's so weird and so adorable at the same time every time i open the door to check on him he's not he's not here He's on his tiny little towel. <laughs> so I guess he likes it. I don't know why exactly. Like he doesn't chew on it or anything. And if it ever gets like curled up because I've like messed with it just to see what he would do. And he like spreads it out so he can like use it as a blanket. And it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I didn't know that kittens did that. I don't know if a lot of kittens do that. So strange, but he absolutely loves it. So I'm just like leaving it for him to use and to hang out on, but it's still really strange. So yeah, that's <laughs> that's a new development for him. Another thing also is that he's adopted a new favorite toy, but like a really low cost convenience one. So I'm like all for it. So basically he really loves old ties, which it never occurred to me that he might like, but I mean, it makes sense now. Like he chases it and then there's like the two sizes of it so he can like switch it up and he's kind of already starting to destroy this one and I mean like obviously this tie wasn't going to be used by anybody it was just like an old one that doesn't even fit anybody anymore so yeah it's fine for him to use it and I'm sure you can find some cheap ones like at a swap meet or at Goodwill or just some other thrift store type of thing because I mean it's probably cheaper than a cat toy to be honest like I never leave him alone with it to play with because I don't want him to like get wrapped up in it and then like get stuck or something. I don't know how smart cats are or not when they're like a kitten age. I don't know if he would like get caught up in it. I don't know. So because of that, I just like give it to him to play with or I'll play with him when I'm there, you know? Uh, like he's always supervised with it. Just like make sure. And the last thing that I've noticed recently is that he has become a lot more patient in terms of like when I feed him, like normally, he would wake me up at like six in the morning to feed him, which is fine because I would like try to wake up early anyway. And I would never be able to do it with like a regular alarm. So like a kitten alarm ended up working really well for me. 
And when we first got him, he would wake me up at like 3 in the morning because he was like literally starved because we found him starving. He was a skeleton. So he would wake me up all the time, but as time went on and he started like healing and stuff, he would wake me up later like at 5 or at 6 just with like meowing. At first it was like yelling meowing <laughs> and he would just meow like as loud as he could until I woke up and fed him and then it eventually just became like gentle little meows and he would like oh my gosh I remember one time <laughs> yeah, I guess he was really hungry because <laughs> he woke me up by slapping me in the face which is like okay cat <laughs> okay but yeah so there was that time that he like went like and then I was like oh like okay like I'll feed you you know and after that, like, he started getting, like, more, like, gentle, I guess, with waking me up, or more, like, not so crazy about it, but he would, like, wake me up by, like, patting my shoulder or just, like, light meowing because he knew I would get up anyway. And then, recently, he just stopped. I don't know why he stopped. Maybe it's because he realized that, like, for the first hour of him meowing, I'm probably just, like, asleep anyway. I don't know what it is. I don't know if he's just like lost all hope that I'll wake up when he starts meowing and like feed him at a decent hour at like five or six in the morning, which is like a decent hour for him, I guess. Or like what it is, I have no idea, but he just stopped and I don't know why. It's really strange. I really love filming these like update videos because I get to see him grow and his personality change. And like the other day I was watching one from December I think it was the first video I uploaded of him like when I introduced you guys to him and it's like oh my god How was he ever that small you know and it's so strange to see him that he was like this big and now he's like Huge and it's like oh gosh I'm so glad that I filmed all of that and also like took a ridiculous amount of pictures because like after one you know he's like just gonna be the same forever so you know, I just might as well take as many pictures as I can. Oh, he's so tiny and so cute. So, enough sappiness about my kitten. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. All my usernames are at Amy Crouton for, like, convenience. <laughs> also, if you guys want to support me on Patreon, you can click there. If you want to subscribe, you can click there. And if you want to check out my other videos, you can click there or there. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.